Hey guys, I uh, brought you a video on the Springfield Saint. Um, I made the video about, I don't know, uh, maybe three weeks ago or so I made it on the, uh, I suppose it was the 19th of December. Um, that's at least when I scheduled to ship off my Saint. Um, this is a follow-up video and I guess I'm going to post them both together because I hadn't posted the other one. Um, anyway, sent the rifle off to Springfield. Um, you know, I, I expressed that I did not want the gun back. I wanted a new one. I wanted a, um, either a new Saint or I wanted my money back. And well, they said that's not their policy. Their policy is to repair the guns. Um, took it to, uh, reeds which is the place i bought it from um off of gun broker um they're also known as uh northern something or other sporting goods or firearms or something like that on on gun broker um really a popular company to buy from i asked for their help on this and they basically just referred me to springfield um you know i got on the phone with springfield i i had a long talk with the customer service there. I even tried to get to a supervisor and he basically kicked it back down to um, a lead customer service agent. And she uh, insisted that it would be a safe firearm, um, that they repaired it um, and fired rounds through it and it is perfectly safe and I should just take it out and shoot it and then keep her up to date on it. And I expressed that I didn't feel comfortable doing that, but I was going to go ahead and trust Springfield and do it anyway. Um, so, you know, that was the short version of it. It was actually about a 45 minute phone conversation going back and forth, trying to, you know, honestly, just trying to get uh, where I wanted to be with a, uh, a new rifle or my money back. And that wasn't happening. So they, uh, they repaired it. They sent it to me. Uh, I just received it yesterday and um you can see my here's my packing list from them there's the dates on everything here's what they did it says note inspected rifle note polished chamber note safety check te note uh tested 20 rounds good they didn't charge me they shipped it back to me um, I got it, loaded up a magazine in my house and, uh, uh, pulled the bolt back and hit the button for it to go into battery. And here's where we sit. The handle is all the way forward this time, but you can see there's still a problem with the bolt. It's not quite all the way in there. Um, try to pull it, you know, compress it, and pull it back. Fingers will turn wide again. It is not coming back. You can see it stretches it in there. But it will not pull that round back out of there. And it definitely, the uh, ejector is, is grab a hold of that round. It's just not pulling it. <clears throat> um, obviously when I get this, I'm pretty close to livid. <laughs> um, you know, I expected them to at least take care of it. Now, mind you, they, she bragged about their text use, nothing but federal ammo and, and that's what they use and that's what works. So what I did was, um, I, you know, I've got three, four, 5,000 rounds of that ammunition. I mean, of of 223 or 556. And of course, in that pile, there is um, some federal. So, what did I do? I loaded it with federal. Um, that's what's jammed in there and stuck. Um, I, I'm, I'm blown away. I called Springfield immediately, um, spoke with the same lady, um, and I suppose I should probably not add names into this of, of specific people. Um, they know who they are. Um, and, you know, the lady basically, 
I, I tell her I got it. Oh, she's like, oh, that's great. And I said, no, it's not so great. I explained to her what's happened. She says, well, that's not what I told you to do. I told you to take the firearm out and go fire it. And I said, ma'am, I'm, I'm going to check anything before I go to the range. And she says, that's, that's not the way our firearms are designed to operate. They are designed to be fired. And I said, ma'am, you've got to be kidding me that I cannot safely unload a firearm once a round's been chambered. You're telling me your gun's not designed that way? She says, it's not designed to manually cycle. <laughs> and this blows my mind and just makes me all sorts of angry. Um, I'm pretty sure every gun is designed to be able to safely unload the firearm if you have a round chambered and by hand manually and you should be able to cycle any AR-15 um, manually uh, meaning loading one into the chamber and pulling the handle back to pull the bolt back removing the round out of the chamber um, I tell her she needs to get somebody else on the phone immediately that's higher up in the company that can have a conversation with me here about uh, this rifle. Uh, anyway, she, she, you know, went on for a couple more minutes about how that's not the way I was supposed to do it. <laughs> um, blows my mind. I, and this is their lead customer service agent at Springfield Armory. So they put on another guy. I speak with this guy. I uh, explained to him the entire situation. And basically got to the end of that. And he's like, yeah, I, I certainly understand it. And then he, he even laughed at the comment she made about um, uh, that, that the only way to, you know, operate this gun basically is to fire it, to unload it. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, I just, he was great. He was very reassuring and all this, but by the end of the phone call with him, he could not do anything and he has to send it up to somebody else. He's asked me to send the rifle back in and they need to take a look at it. And I told him, I don't want this gun back. I said very clearly, I don't want this gun back. I do not want a repaired gun. I bought a new gun. I do not want a modified new gun that didn't work in the factory and didn't work here and you know they say they fired these rounds through it but it's uh <laughs> i don't know what they're firing through their guns there but mine's straight off the shelf factory ammunition i do not use reloads she did bring that up too when i was speaking with that lady and uh that's not what i use so um you know, they said they're going to kick it up to somebody else and he'll call me and let me know what they're going to do. But ultimately, this is up to the techs again. And, uh, you know, so we'll, we're going to see what happens here. I've got a new uh, shipping label and got my box ready to go. Just got to pack it up tonight. And uh, sorry for the boring video. But I'm, a, I'm ranting a little bit because I'm just blown away at the response I'm getting from Springfield Armory on this brand new gun. You know, I've mentioned to them too, by the way, that during the process of repairing this, or excuse me, removing these rounds, you can see there's damage right up here. And you can see on the underside here of the magazine well. If I can get the camera, you can see it's all scratched up right here. And if it was light enough down in there, if we can get it, you can see, yeah, it's hard to see the scratches that are going on down in there. You can see them on the back of the magwell in there. Um, bottom line is the gun's, the gun's damaged because of what's going on. I, I don't care who you are. You, you buy a car from Toyota and the car doesn't work. They aren't going to say, hey, uh, you need to send it back over to uh, Toyota in Japan. They need to take care of it. No, that dealer is going to take care of it. 
Um, they're going to make you happy. They're going to fix it. If they can't fix it, they're going to give you a new one. It, 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 that's the same with anything in our lives. Um, you know, this is supposed to be a lifetime warranty. I mean, and I, I would get the whole repair process thing. I do. I understand that. If this was some gun that I used for a while or something like that and sent it in for warranty work or something, this is a brand new gun, never, ever, ever fired by me. And this is the runaround I'm getting from Springfield Armory. So, um, you know, I, I, like I said in the first video, I'm a huge fan. Obviously, the XDs. Um, I did have one uh, Springfield 1911. Never had a problem with it. Never had a problem with any of my XDs. Um, of course, all those XDs are all Croatian made. So, you know, it might be n nothing to do with Springfield in that category. Um, so, uh, I, I, I don't know where to go with this. I will keep you in the loop. Sorry for the long video. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the first one and this one, I am not a profes professional reviewer, hence the shaky camera and the long rant. <laughs> anyway, bear with it. Uh, you guys need to know this stuff. Um, here's the uh, facts of what's going on in this situation. Good luck. Happy shooting. See you guys.